my god if you switch on the light it is going to be on my head <laughs> We are uh, recording. Good to go? Yep. Three claps and we are ready to go. One, two, three. Hello viewers. Welcome back. Today we talk about so many cuisines across the globe. And one of the finest cuisine is a Punjabi food. And Punjabi food is not just about butter chicken or tandoori chicken. There's a lot to it than just being these two dishes. Today I am at Punjab Bistro, one of the finest Punjabi cuisine restaurant from Bangalore. Today in our own city, which recently opened up and offering more authentic, rural Punjabi foods in a nice setup. Let's go and explore more dishes, what they got to offer to us. Hello, Suresh Garu. Hi, Andy. Sankalp Garu. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to showcase your brand new restaurant on my YouTube channel. But I would have want to know, and I'm very curious also, why Punjab Bistro? First of all, I would like to thank you, Sankalp Garu, my for best. showing our restaurant in your uh, channel. Thank you. Okay. And uh, coming back to the story of Punjab mm. Bistro. Why Punjab Bistro? Yeah, Punjab Bistro. I said over the years, we are we are having regular Punjabi food in Hyderabad. True. And uh, we are not finding uh, different types of or variants or varieties of food which already existing in Punjabi, Punjabi mm. menu. True. So in this search, we want to really find out what is existing. And there we find the Punjab Bistro, which is existing in Bangalore, had added a lot of additional menu for it, rather than the regular Punjabi food. That's how we would like to bring that Punjabi Bistro to Hyderabad. And you are located in in orbit. Yeah. Why the why you chose in orbit mall? You know very well the prime all the uh, in orbit mall is surrounded by a lot of IT companies True. and the corporate companies, and uh, there we get a lot of mixed people from the pan India, and uh, we get a lot of uh, visibility in, in this. You're right. You're right. It's it's in in a way in the middle of uh, the city. City or of we can call it. Yeah. You have the Jubilee Hills, Banjara Hills crowd. Right. You have the Madhapur and the high tech city Gachiboli crowd. Right. All can come and they, uh, they can, can enjoy, enjoy the, the food. food. Yeah. Wonderful. Currently, we are offering lunch and a dinner only. Mm -hmm. So once this pandemic is over, we are planning to have the buffet in a dinner in a lunch. Okay. Okay. So uh, for the when the corporates are back, when you the corporates are back, you would like buffet. to yes exactly. And I also see something behind me, a wonderfully crafted uh, uh, bar counter. Yeah. So when is that going to come up? So this we are in planning to get it at the starting of the new year. That means from January effectively we are planning to uh, start our bar menu also. And it's going and to be very exciting, you know, having Punjabi food with a cocktail or a beer. It's going to be amazing. Definitely, we have lots of very variants of uh, cocktails and mocktails. You can try it our bar counter. Exciting. Okay. Definitely for sure. Yeah. But before that, now I'm going to start ordering food from the menu. Let's yeah, please, please go it. ahead. Thank you. Thanks. Will. So we've been looking forward to have these all dishes and finally they are on my table and I'm going to taste these amazing dishes. So this is Tandoori Jinga and uh, this is Amritsari Chole Tikki, Beetroot Tikki and this is the most popular Punjab Bistro's signature Chop Tejdar. So now I'm going to dig into these things and uh, try to understand how the flavors are coming out nicely in each of these dishes. So let me begin with the beetroot tikki, which is a popular Lucknowi dish. 
but specialized and improvised in the kitchens of Punjab Bistro. As per the chef, let me see how the flavors are coming out in each of these. The color looks phenomenal. It's got peanuts and beetroot. It's got very subtle flavor. Those people who are bored with having the makkai tiki and all the stuff, this is the right choice for them with the nutty flavor and the beetroot. So now I'm digging into Amritsari Chole Aloo Tiki. This is a simple homemade tiki, which are mashed aloo with chaat masala, uh, coriander, and a little bit of green chilies in it. And this is supposed to be had with the Amritsari Chole. Hmm. The flavor of the chaat masala, when it is coming out with the sauces, predominantly they have used um, tamarind chutney with this. Nice, crunchy, and you feel you're not missing the Amritsari Chole. For those people who are missing it, this is a place to come and try the Amritsari Chole with the Alu Tiki. Mm. So moving to the non-veg section, I have Tandoori Jinga, uh, which is a nice decent sized uh, tiger prawn, marinated in red spices and nicely tandoor to perfection. Mm. Brilliant. The prawn is absolutely cooked perfection with the right amount of spices. It's coming in nice and smooth. Brilliant, brilliant dish. Wow. So now I'm moving to the uh, lamb chops, but unlike the tandoori uh, jinga, this has got a special kada masala in it. So it's got more uh, spices, which comes out really good. Oh, it's just falling off the bone, the meat. Mm. The lamb is nice and soft and juicy, and the kada masala giving you the uh, subtle hint at the end as you chew it. So, brilliant variation in both the tandoor dishes, though they have a similar masalas, but kada masala makes the difference. Wow, here we have the main course. So for the main course, we have Asunka Saag <laughs> and Dal Murada Badi. And to go with that, I have Lacha Paratha and Makki Di Roti. To finish off this amazing dinner, <laughs> lunch time. So I have Shahi Tukra and Kesar Jalebi with Rabdi. Oh, I'm just dying to go for the desserts, but before going to the desserts, I'm gonna try these. So I'm taking the Sasonga Saag and the combination to go with this Makki Di Roti, Makkan and Gur. Here I go, I'm having my favorite Makki Di Roti with Saag. Hmm. Brilliant, very flaky. The, the makika flavor is nicely coming in. And the saag, I say, is brilliant. Guys, one place you must visit for having your favorite saag is Punjab Bistro. So let me now try the dal murada badi. It's a mixed dal with lots of flavors in it. It's got tur dal, then you have um, the other dal, what's the other dal, which is called? Uh, like that. <laughs> no. It's got masoor dal and tur dal. Yeah. Moong and masoor dal. Yeah. So you hear it from the chef who is behind. Thank you, chef. <laughs> so this I'm having with the lacha paratha. Hmm. Brilliant. It's got that imli ka chutney also in it. And the green chutney, onions and chopped tomatoes. Wow, brilliant. I, I can totally hear how crispy the roti is right from here. Oh yeah, absolutely flaky. And the dal is absolutely complimenting it. Mm. If I get to know that there's a desert in some corner of the city, I'm always there. So this is Shahi Tukram, Punjab Bistro style. So these are the breads stacked up on one on one. Oh my God, look at this. Nothing can get better than this. Do you hear the crunchy noise of the sound coming from Dave? As for jealous, I want to have it right now. Mmm. Oh my goodness. You're gonna love it. I'm keeping it for you. One thing I must say, the halwai at Punjab Bistro is brilliant guy. Look at how crisp it is. Look at you hear us? And I'm not going to talk more about it. It's brilliant stuff. Just dig into it, eat it, and eat it, and eat it. Hmm. 
ओम ओम पुनर हाय दिस इज शेफ रवि वी गोट पंजाब विस्तरा ऑफर सम ऑफ द फैनिश डिशेस यू नो द लाल मांस इज वेरी फेमस इन राजस्थान बट वी आर सर्विंग नाउ पंजाबी स्टाइल वी विल डू वी विल वी विल डू बेस्ट इन हैदराबाद थैंक यू या आई लाइक इट सो आई कंटिन्यू टू गिव इट इट बट यू पीपल डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग It's finger-licking good, man. This jalebi is phenomenal. I'm loving it. Oh, little papa, little. Jee bar ke khale. Me aur ek plate manga lunga. Hmm. Wow. Oh my goodness. Have it. How? I'm telling you. Outro kar lenge.